Tyler Kalodney here. You're gonna see some of my special salad right now, okay? I already chopped up organic iceberg salad. Now, if anybody knows me, got to love the salad, the cold salad with the hot veggies. Let me show you what this bad boy is, okay? These are Brussels sprouts off a stem or plant, you name it. I probably got it wrong. There you go. I'm going to tell you a quick story. When I was four years old or four and a half, you name it, five, who knows, my mom handed this and I would take off. And next thing you know, at four, five, two, six, now over 12, 18, 25, 31, I'm not 31. I had so much fun picking these Brussels sprouts. I learned, I learned to love Brussels sprouts. You can teach your kids to love Brussels sprouts and then you take it and swing for the fences and hit home runs just don't strike out as much as I did. However, back to Brussels sprouts, okay? You can teach the kids have fun, pick the Brussels sprouts, don't get the granola bars out of the pantry. Anyway, you steam the, the Brussels sprouts just a few minutes. Just soften them up. Okay, so these are steamed. These are steamed. If our extraordinary cameraman can show, can show in there, the cameraman's also one of my very good friends. Steamed Brussels sprouts. Simply, simply take it out and cut it in half. Okay, boom, these are just in half. Now right off the bat, little presentation talent right there, okay? We're gonna go back to that. Now it's soft and you can eat it, healthy, delicious, organic. Boom, I got two, pl ooh, ooh, ooh. two plates of the salad already chopped up. Now we got the cold salad. I'm gonna throw in sliced, these are already pre-sliced, almonds and slivered almonds, okay? And I love cucumbers, okay? Raw cucumbers, don't really wanna cook cucumbers. All right, now, now, just for the record, I had to wait a few minutes for the camera guy to get his camera going. Look how beautiful that is, right? That's not your normal cheese. I'm not a big cheese guy, but take the alternate. Either do raw cheese or almond cheese. Stay away from cock cashew cheese for a variety of reasons. Listen and read Dark Dr. Mercola's books or Dave Asprey's and they'll explain why. Anyway, you can take the beautiful presentation, put it in, boom, okay? That's a nice, cold, healthy salad. This is when it gets fun. Now we're gonna hit the dirty. Okay, you ready? You ready for the good stuff? I'm gonna show you. You take the empty bowl, you see it's empty, I told you, I told you. Now we are going aside just so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna take organic olive oil, okay? I'll tell you right now, if you want to go buy the $23.75 organic olive oil from Italy and pay for that shipping, knock your socks off. I get like the California or the local and I don't know how much of a difference is except I save like half the price on it and I think it's the same from all the research I've done. Anyway, organic ghee, grass-fed oil, I, or butter, you name it. Okay, look at that, huh? Keto, keto diet alert, watch out. Keto crave, keto crave. Now, hey, real quick, on the keto diet, it's good fats. It's not just eat a bunch of fatty fats, okay? It's good fats, and keto does work. I absolutely love it. Then you take pink Himalayan salt. Don't go light. Don't go too light. Have some fun with it, okay? You're going to die if you don't have salt. Then you got organic black pepper. Hey, salt and pepper. Been around for centuries. Our ancestors and our cavemen were doing salt and black pepper, okay? It works. What am I doing with this? You're going to see here in like less than a few minutes. As you know, brain octane oil, put your brain octane oil in your coffee and anything you want, including your salad dressing. Yes, we are making an awesome salad dressing or, or a dressing for your Brussels sprouts, okay? Now, organic apple raw cider. As you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I love this. I don't think there's been one without it, okay? Anyway, just you do a tickle because I always go too much for the people that are close to me, but I love a good little zing right there. So anyway, really, this gives you all the flavor you need. A good squeeze of lemon. I put my hand there to keep the seeds out, okay? There we go. Now, if you watch this, John, if you could back up just a little bit, I want to show the, the audience my skills. Watch this, watch this. Look over here, but it goes right in the sink every single time. Did you get that? We, we missed it, we missed it. I'll do it again, I'll do it again, okay? It hit the floor. <laughs> totally missed the sink. I was like, he did, he did miss it. Right here, hey, right in the hey. Off the bowl, did you do that? I bet you can't do that. I meant to hit the tip of the bowl 
into the sink, all right? Well, look at that, right in the middle. Woo! No cut. They call me no cut TK for a reason, all right? Here you go. They do the hook shot, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kind of interesting fact, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. All those hook shots, no one does it anymore, all right? Anyway, and then finally, finally, one more lime. Stop with lemon and lime, okay? Best of both worlds. You uh, feed this to some buddies or a date or two, and... And they go, what's in it, lemon or lime? You go both and you knock their socks off literally and figuratively. Oh, I just went R-rated. No, I didn't. Relax, chill, breathe, enjoy, meditate. All right, here's a fun one. Here's a fun one. Okay, so black garlic mayo from Pri Chosen Foods Primal Kitchen, okay? Be careful. Be careful. This is good because there's no canola oil. I'm double, triple checking. No canola oil and no soybean oil. When you go to the restaurants, the new thing is they're learning you can make Brussels sprouts good. They start throwing canola oil, safflower oil, so, you know, all that bad oils, okay? Now, all of a sudden, you made an extremely healthy food and now you're paying a lot of money for food that's bad for you, okay? So, anyway, one, and this will thicken. This so thick and now black garlic, we haven't talked about that too much yet. That's got so much better than normal white garlic. Okay, now you could obviously put this in a blender. I mean, honestly, you could put in the blender, make it nice and whippy. I like it a little, kind of like that. Of course, that's not what most people would like, but anyway, that's how I kind of like it. So it thickens it up a little bit. It's definitely different, okay? And then all of a sudden you got yourself a salad dressing. Now what a lot of people do with the Brussels sprouts, they glaze it and all that. Watch what I do, okay? You take you take the Brussels sprouts, right? Salt, pepper, olive oil, ghee. Yeah, you're gonna make you're gonna drop a little. That's okay. That's called being human. And just throw that on there, okay? Now, that's freaking delicious. Sorry about it, okay? You could drench that, right? Look at that. Look at the flavor. All that salt and pepper, the lemon, the apple cider, the ghee butter. What else we got? The olive oil, okay, and the black garlic mayo, okay? The ma healthy mayo, okay? It's not the bad stuff, all right? Looks a little different, right? So you got that. You also can pour this in the salad dressing, all right? Boom, all right? Now, if you really wanna go crazy, this is where I separate my salads from everyone, not only with my homemade, awesome, amazing, best dressing, healthy, delicious, so good for everyone in the entire universe, and galaxies and beyond. You take the hot Brussels sprouts into the cold. Ah, oh, there was one straggler. It goes in because we're human, okay? And then we just take the rest there. Wow, wow. I know what you're thinking. You wanna jump out of the camera and into the food and eat it and go to town. Now, how healthy is this? How much would you pay in a restaurant for that? For that, you could do it for five bucks at your house there you go. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. What other holidays are there? St. Patty's Day. Um, you know, summer's out, school's out. Enter summer school, do what you got to do. Your birthday. Birthdays. There's, hey, every day is someone's birthday. So if you wake up, it's a good day. Remember that. All right. And there you go. Now, so moral of the story here, Brussels sprouts, extremely healthy for you. Brussels sprouts where they might to kids be unhealthy or it might be a healthy food for an adult to create a habit. My mama is such a great mama. I am a proud mama's boy. She handed this and said, Tyler, help me cook dinner. Pick these off, whatever this is, the stem, the plant. Okay, and I did this at four, three, two years old, and I loved it. What I'm trying to say is this. If you show the kids that healthy food is fun, the kids will enjoy the healthy food. Okay, you don't need a forced pepperoni pizza down them on a, on a, I don't know, a birthday or whatnot. Okay, so you do that. Good things will happen. I just want to say for whatever it's worth, food is a habit. It's psychological. It's emotional. Why are we asking 40, 50, 60, 70 year olds to change their habits when we should do that at a young age? Okay, no more frozen burritos at at school, let's do it the right way. I feed this to hundreds of kids, kids that I've coached, kids, kids that I've looked after, uh, nephews, nieces, kids of my friends, okay? And they all love it. They never go, ew. Or if I, they do, ew, they say, ew, before they put the food in their mouth. That's how you know it's mental, okay? So it starts with us adults. If we wanna be good parents, 
good role models, good adults, good uncles, good grandpas, you name it. Be good and show them how to eat healthy, okay? Don't just, and don't just give them a pantry full of junk. So anyway, I'm out. Happy New Year coming up. Go get it. Eat healthy on your holiday. Don't eat every four-legged animal you see, okay? Have fun. Much love. And eat your Brussels sprouts. I'm outie.